Here's another KeepsakeCrafts.net video for House of Gems. Today we're making these lovely earrings in shades of green with a great mix of metals. So the first thing I'm going to do to make my earrings is assemble all of my dangles. So I'm going to put my focal beads on the head pins. And this is a great way of assembly line uh, putting together your project so that you can save a little bit of time. And I'm just going to put them together. And I'm going to make pairs, one for each earring, but I'm not necessarily going to make each earring completely symmetrical. And I'm not, don't overthink this. If you have a nice assortment of colors, and shapes, your earrings will look good in the end. So just carry on. Not every head pin has to have a spacer and some of the spacers can be on top and some can be on bottom. So just go ahead and put together all of your head pins. So now you can see I've strung all of my beads onto head pins and started making them into dangles. And let me show you how to do that. Just pick up one of your head pins Lay it on the ruler, and it depends on how big a loop you want to make. I'm going to make a medium sized loop anywhere between a quarter of an inch and three eighths. That will make a good sized loop. I'm going to do right about in the middle of that. You're going to trim the wire and make sure you have the flush side of your flush cutters towards the work you're keeping, the wire that you're keeping. So you have a nice flush cut piece of wire. Grasp that with your round nose pliers, and I'm not going to go with the very tips, but not too far up. You shouldn't have any wires sticking up above, and then twist your wrist, and keep twisting, reposition and twist, until that wire actually crosses over itself. And then go ahead and grab the other side of the loop and kink it back. By having it cross over itself, when you kink it back, it should be closed. So you can see there's a little bit of a stem of wire here, which means I could have made my loop a little bit bigger or cut off a little bit more wire to begin with. So you just repeat that process to make all of these head pins into bead dangles. So now you can see I've made all of my head pins into bead dangles and I've attached half of them to this ring over here. And you can do more or less as you like. And let me show you how to do that. It's just like opening and closing a jump ring. These bent nose pliers are nice for these little tiny loops and the tight space. So you twist it to the side to open. And I found it best if you keep your pliers on the loop rather than take it off and try to reposition later. Slide the loop on and then go ahead and close or slide the ring on and then go ahead and close your loop, making sure it's nice and secure. And repeat to add all of your dangles, including your focal, to the ring, just like I did over here. And then here I've separated, so I have six on either side of my focal, and we'll add our ear wire in the same way. And I just want to get this, I'm going to pick it up like that so I don't move things around there. Put that on the loop of the ear wire. And then again, make sure that that's closed nice and securely. And there you have it.